welcome or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber thank you guys for joining me on this particular episode this was inspired by pinterest so i think one of those days that i was just browsing through pinterest looking for patterns to read i stumbled on this beautiful pink dress for the first time i am liking a pink dress like it so happened i had this pink fabric i bought this fabric for another purpose but then i just said to myself since i was so in love with the pink dress why not just use this fabric and recreate it the dress we're about to make the pattern was first tried out so when i created the pattern i tried it out by making this particular top i'm wearing so i wanted to be sure that i was you know getting it right and in making this top i knew what i did not want to see on the dress so in making this top i realized that i wanted a bigger hand yes i wanted my the hand for my dress to be bigger than what is on the picture and in making this top also i decided that there's some things i will not be repeating on the dress so this the sewing version for this dress has been tried also so you are safe this is the pattern drafting and the steps has been laid out for you guys step by steps like the process is step by step you're not going to miss any if you pay attention so yes thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe if you are new and you're seeing this face for the first time subscribe and while you are down there there is a notification bell you need to put on in case you want to see my videos you know subsequently just click on the notification bell and still down there you have a like button if you decide to like your girl's video there is a button right there like the video and um you can help me share i really appreciate that yes without no further ado let's start creating the pattern my wish for you is to be able to draft out the basic bodies once you're able to understand that every other thing from there is possible so what i'm doing right now is fold my pattern paper into two equal parts because I want to know the middle point. So this line here indicates that this is the middle point of my pattern. And I will rule a straight line. And this is because one side is going to be for the front. And the other side for the back. So yeah. I'm also ruling a starting line. Leaving on one inch before I rule the starting line. And I'll show you guys which is for the front. And which is going to be for the back. So this part right here is going to be for the front and this is for the back. So I'll just indicate that on my marker. I'll just try to indicate everything so that you will know what we are doing so you don't get lost. If you're a beginner, please just try and pay attention. I, I believe you can be able to do it. Now the first step is for me to mark the vertical measurements starting from the shoulder. Now I have a video that shows you how to mark your vertical and your horizontal. So what we are doing right now is divide your shoulder measurement by two and mark that down from here this is from the center front so i'll go in like this and mark my shoulder measurement divided by two and this is the shoulder so remember now the next thing for us to do is mark one inch down for the slope and most of you ask why do you do that because your shoulder is never straight okay it's slopey so this is the slope we'll connect that to the neckline so the neckline means that the center front, this part here that the line is going to meet, that is where our neckline will be sitting. Now the next thing for me to do is divide my round arm hole by two and mark that down from my slope. So see me go like this and this is down from the slope and I'm marking my round arm hole divided by two. So now I'll confirm if the width of my arm hole is the same with what I marked on my shoulder. What I marked on my shoulder was 7.5, right? I'll just adjust that here because the width has to be the same with my shoulder measurements. So I'll go ahead and rule a straight line and also an horizontal line. So this is where the arm hook curve will be sitting for the mm -hmm. beginners, okay? So this is the slope one inch and this is the arm hook. I'm just going to go ahead and label all. This is the arm hook. So the next thing is for us to mark the bust point. Remember, we're marking vertical measurements. I will just did the shoulder and the armhole. Next is the bust point. And you can see where my tape is, right? My tape is at the starting point and not the slope. So from there, I just went down and I marked my bust point. So this is my bust point or bust line. It's the same thing. So I also place my tape from the starting line and I will mark my under bust point.
Now the next thing I'm going to mark here is my waistline. So my waistline, I'll place my tape from the starting line. And then I'll just go down and mark my waistline. You guys, the measurements are on the screen. So place your tape where I am placing my tape right now. Take the measurement and then mark that down on your pattern paper, okay? Line by line. And this is the waistline. So now that we have this, the next thing we're going to do is divide our round busts by four and mark that down on the armhole line. So this is going to help us create the curve. So you divide your round bust, your round breast by four. You mark that down on your armhole line. Now go ahead and mark the middle point of your armhole. So you place your tape like this. Just follow my step. Fold your tape into two. Now you get the middle points like this. Indicate that on your pattern. And from the middle points, I'll go in by half an inch. Make sure it is on the straight line. Go in like this by half an inch. So now we can create the curve for the armhole. So if you don't have a curve ruler, you can do this with your free hand. Just see the points that I'm connecting. Go ahead and connect those points. And then move to this other side and connect like this with a curve. So if you're using your free hand, just make sure you get something like this, okay? Now moving on, the step two is for us to mark our nipples to nipple, which is also known as the apex points. So my nipple to nipple is 8 divided by 2 gives you 4 inches. So from the center front of my pattern, I'm going in by 4 inches. So you can see where my tape is going in from, right? I'm marking 4 inches on all points and I'm just going to connect. And now I have my apex line. So we're going to mark the dart on the apex line and you guys pay attention, please. If you have never done a dart before, this is how you do it. Now I'm going to be marking one inch on each side of the apex line. So I'm going here one inch and I'm going here one inch. Now I have two dart legs. I'll move over to my bust line. I'll come down by one inch and now connect the one inch to those dart legs on the waist. So see what I'll do here. I'll connect to this one inch down here. And then I'll connect to this one inch down here. So now we have created our dart legs. We're going to come back and adjust this, but let's move on step by step. Step three is for us to mark the neckline and create the shoulder dart. Now we're just going to mark the neck width. And the neck width for me is 3.5. You can also use that. If you are my size, if you are bigger than me, you can use 4. So I'm marking 3.5 here as my neck width. And then I'll go down by 3 inches as my neck depth. And I'll just connect with a curve. We don't need, we actually don't need this part, but we need this to create our shoulder that. So that's why I'm making it available. So what I'll be doing next is I'll mark the middle point of my shoulder. So this point here, I'll, this point here is my shoulder from here to here. So I'll place my tape and look for the middle point of those points now. I'll fold my tape into two to get the middle point. And once I had the middle point, I'll indicate that. So the next thing for me to do now, from this middle point, I'll connect the line to meet the apex line. So just go ahead and connect. Use your straight ruler or you can use a dot method. But make sure you get a line like this. Connect your middle point on the shoulder to your bust line. Okay. So because we need the chest line for this dress. I'm just going to indicate that right now. I'll mark my chest line from the starting point of my pattern. So from this place, I'll go down and mark my chest line. How do you get your chest line? The measurement is on the screen. This is your upper bust point, okay? So I've indicated my chest line. And now once that is done, we're going to go ahead and create our shoulder that. And this is how we're going to be doing this. This is an introduction. This is the first time we're doing this. So please look at what I'm doing. So from the line we have, the middle points, I'm going to mark one inch on each side of the middle point. So I'll mark one inch here and I'll mark one inch here. 
So what we'll do now is go to the bust line. This is my bust line. I'll mark half inch upwards for my bust line. To avoid the bust area looking pointy, we're going up by half an inch. And now we connect the half an inch to the one inch or, and one inch here on the shoulder. So remember you marked one inch here on the shoulder. Connect like this to the half inch. And then you move to the other side where you have your one inch also. You connect this to your half an inch. Now you have created a shoulder that. So what I'm going to do now is adjust my under bust point. And on this side where we have the under bust, remember we have a dart here already. So what I'll be doing is I'll be adding half an inch on each side. So I'm just going to place my tape from this dart leg and I'll add half an inch here. And I'll take my tape to this side and I'll mark half an inch. So I'm just going to use my straight ruler now to connect the half an inch now to the waistline. And I have one inch on my under bust on each side and the same goes for the waist, one one inch. So to get a perfect smooth curve, I'm just going to use my curve ruler and connect this to the one inch we have down from the bust. So I'll do the same on this side. So what I'll do is extend my chest line out like this. I'm just extending the line because now we need to divide the horizontal measurements by four. So all the points that are sitting on this pattern, I'm just going to be dividing them by four. So the first point I'll start with is the round chest. I'll divide my round chest by four and I'll mark that down on my chest line. You can see the measurement on the screen. And when you do that, please don't forget to replace your dart. So I'm just going to extend the line because I need to replace my dart. I'll place the tape like this on the dart on the chest line and replace that. Don't forget to always replace your dart. This is very, very important for you to replace so you don't run out of fabric, okay? So I'll divide my round bust by four and mark that down on my bust line. Now, you guys, the round bust, there is no dart sitting there, so there is nothing to replace. I'll go ahead and connect the chest to the bust measurement like this with a straight line. And now I'll move to my round waist. I'll divide my round waist by four. And I'll mark that down on the waistline. Replace your dart. So we have one inch, one inch, making it two inches. I'll replace two inches here. And also connect with a straight line or however the line comes out to be. I'll connect my waist to the bust like this. And this is our front pattern. So what we're going to do now is add allowance on the side. And I'll be adding just one inch on all points. So all points is just getting one inch. So please, if you were able to get to this point and it was easy for you, please go ahead and like this video. And if there's any confusion, I would advise you to watch this carefully because I make sure that every process I marked, I showed you. So yeah, this is our allowance. And let's go ahead and create the back pattern. On my back pattern here, you can see I have my bust line, I have my under bust, I have my waist. I also have the um, armhole, I have everything indicated. What we need to do now is create the curve for the armhole. So like we did before on the front pattern, divide your round bust by four and mark that down on your armhole line, just as seen on the video. And now go ahead and look for the middle point on your armhole. So remember we did that on the front, we looked for the middle point, do that also here. And now go ahead and connect with the curve. And this is how you create your back armhole. Very, very simple. The back is actually simpler than the front. Now we're going to mark the nipple to nipple. We did that when we were marking on the front pattern. We marked our nipple to nipple. That is what we're using in creating the dart. So my nipple to nipple is 8 inches divided by 2 gives you 4. So I'm marking 4 from this side. You guys, this is where my center back is. So that is why I'm going in like this. So I'm just marking 4 inches inward. Please don't be confused, okay? Or connect it with a straight line and now we can create the dart so what we have here we're going to be creating that here so but before then remember we marked the chest points on the front we're going to be doing the same on the back i'm just going to go ahead and mark my chest at the back my back chest line and make sure you place your teeth from the starting point okay 
and i'm just going to extend it out so you guys can see the chest line it aligns right my back and my front is the same so this is the chest line i'm just going to go ahead and extend my nipple to nipple to the chest line i'll mark four inches here on the chest line and connect with the straight line so now all points here has the nipple to nipple line the apex So for my dart on the back pattern, I'm just going to go ahead and mark one inch on each side of the apex line. I'll mark one inch here and one inch here. One inch here, one inch here. Just as we did on the front. And I'll come down for my chest line, I'll come down by half an inch. Make sure you know where your chest line is. Place your tip and mark half an inch down. And what I'll do now is connect the half an inch to my dart legs which is one inch here and one inch here. I feel like if you follow this step carefully, you're just going to get it. And please try and understand the process. There's a process happening here. Please try and understand. I'm just going to extend my chest line also like this. I'll extend it out to the armhole because we're going to be doing the same thing that we have on the front. So dividing the horizontal measurement by four, which is our round measurement, I'll start with the chest line, which is the first line here. I'll divide my round chest by four and I'll mark that down on the chest line. The measurement is on the screen. So look at what I'm taking and mark yours. I'll move to my bust line. I'll divide my round bust by four and mark that down on the bust line. So go ahead and divide your own round bust. Your round bust, not mine. Divide your own round bust by four. Mark that down replace your dad always remember to do that so that's what i'm doing i'm just going to replace my dad and i'll connect the line to the armhole like this i'll move over to my waistline i'll divide my round waist by four we did this on the front divide your round waist by four and replace your dad i have two inches that here i'll replace that back and I'll also do that for my under bust. I'll divide my round under bust by four. I'll mark that down on the under bust line. And also replace my dart. Replace your dart. So now I have all points. I'm just going to connect like this. I'll connect the bust to the under bust and then to the waist. So I'm just going to extend the chest line. Um, I want it to meet the bust line. And you guys, when we are joining this, we are going to be taking that part out. So on the sewing version, you will see what I will do here. But for now, I'm just going to extend it and then I'll meet it up like this. And I'm going to be dropping my center back by 2 inches. Now, this part is optional. But I want my center back to be dropped by 2 inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark 2 inches down from my chest line. So you can see my tip on the chest line. I'll use my straight ruler to connect this to the side. See how I'm connecting to the side? And now I'm just going to add my allowance. So this is my allowance and this is my back pattern. I also went ahead to do another illustration on how this can be created. That's your back pattern can be created, but that isn't necessary. I decided not to make this video long, so I'm not going to ignore that. Uh, and I'll go ahead and cut out my back pattern from how we drafted it before. So you can see where my scissors is going through. I'm just going to cut this out. This is my back pattern. Don't forget to cut out your dart. So this is my back pattern and you can see that I went ahead to label my pattern. Center front, side front, center back, side back. Please don't forget to do that. So when you're joining, you don't make mistake, okay? Always label, always make notches when you're supposed to. So I'm just cutting out the dart on my front pattern. And you guys will be seeing the pattern I have at last. This is what I'll be using for my upper part of this and this is the back pattern and you guys that was very very easy i feel like it was simple let me know in the comment section what you think and when we're cutting this this is going to be on fold and this is going to be two piece and let's go ahead and create the skirt pattern for this dress so i have two patterns here and this is for my back and the one on top is for my front 
Now the pattern for the back, I'll go ahead and mark 1.5 inch for zip. So make sure you indicate your zip first on your back pattern. For the pattern that is meant for your back, indicate your zip and then rule a line to demarcate it from the other pattern, okay? The length for my down part is, um, actually what I have here is 27 inches, but I ended up using 36 inches. Oh, you guys will be seeing that on the sewing version. So what I'll do is place my front pattern after my zip allowance. See, after my zip allowance, the line for the zip after, I place my front pattern and I pin this down with my back pattern because I want to mark the measurements together, okay? That's why I'm doing this. So now I have my front and my back pattern together. I'm just going to go ahead and rule a starting line. And you guys, please go ahead and rule a starting line. You need a starting line. So in case your pattern is not straight, you know you have a starting line. Now my starting line is going to be known as my waistline. And from the waistline, I'll go ahead and mark my hip point plus one inch. You know this is a dress, right? My hip point is 10 inches, but I'll be using 11 inches because this is a dress. So I'll advise you to add one inch to your hip point because what we're making is a dress. So what I'm marking as my hip point here is 11 inches. I extended this line to the zip because we need this to adjust the zip later, okay? And you guys, you already know that this is the length. I'm just going to rule a line here. So you guys know that this is the length. So these are the measurements you need for a skirt pattern. You need your waist, you need your hip, and you need your length. That is the three measurements you need, okay? So let's divide our round measurements by four. The first is the waist. I'll divide my round waist by four, and I'll mark that down. You can see that my tape is after the line, right? Remember that that line is for the zip, so make sure you place your tape after, okay? And I'll add one inch on my waist for the dart. You need your dart, okay? You have your dart on the upper part. You need your dart for the down part. So I'll mark one inch. And now I'll move over to the hip. I'll divide my round hip by four. And I'll mark this down. And you guys can see that I'm marking this down on the hip line. So the hip measurement goes on the hip line. I'll connect both points together from the waist. I'll connect both points together like this. Using my straight ruler. And now, you guys, my round hip is 42. So what I marked here was 42 divided by 4, and I got 10.5. So what I'll be doing on my length is this. I'll go ahead and minus 3 inches for my 42 here. So I'll minus 3 inches for the 42, and then divide the number by 4 for my length. So let's make this practical. My hip is 42. I'll minus 3 inches from this, and I'll get 39. So what I'll be marking on my length is 39 divided by 4. So I'll divide 39 by 4. And that is what I'll be marking on the length. And I got 9, half and quarter. So that is the measurement I'll be marking on the length. So this is just going to help me get a little bit pencil effect, okay? So if you want it to be pencil, go ahead and do this. I'll connect this point to the hip using my long ruler. And now I'll just go ahead and curve any sharp edge I have. I have on the hip, I'll just curve this. So you know I already marked the one inch for the dart on the waist. And now I have to indicate the dart. So what I'll do on this point, I'll divide my nipple to nipple by 2. That's 8 divided by 2. I'll mark this. From here, I'll go in 4 inches. And now on that 4 inches line, I'll go down by 6 inches. So from the 4 inches point, I'll place my tape and go down by 6 inches. I'll connect these points together. For my that on the waist, I'll mark half an inch here and half an inch on the other side of the apex line. That's our nipple to nipple line. I'll mark half inch here. And I'll also mark half inch here. Now I'll connect those half inch to the six inches down here. And we have created the dart for the front pattern. So this dart we just marked here is for the front pattern. We're going to be marking the back, but that will be after we take away the front, okay? So this is six inches down. Please do not forget. 
and now i'll just go ahead and cut out this pattern remember i have my front and my back pattern together so what i'm cutting right now is going to be on the front and also at the back um i'll just make this small note that i need to add 0 0.5 inches on the fabric when cutting on my fabric i'll add 0 0.5 inches and next i'll adjust the zip allowance so what we have here 1.5 is good i'll move to the waist i'll mark one inch in that is what should be on your waist that's the, this is the zip for the back pattern okay so once i have that one inch on the waist i'll connect both points together that's from the hip i'll be connecting the hip to the waist and this is it i'll mark five inches down from the hip i'll just indicate five inches down and from that five inches i'll be marking one inch down to the length that's for the zip so i'll be marking one inch and this is just going to be down to the length i'll connect this to the hip i'll connect the one inch to the hip remember on the hip we have 1.5 okay and now i'm just going to connect this to the length one inch down to the length and we have adjusted the zip i'll cut this out you don't need this um unnecessary pattern there anymore just cut it out so you have your shape for your zip so i'm just going to transfer the darts to the back pattern that is the next thing for me to do i'll transfer my darts like this so because i'm using the marker this uh, what i'm doing right now is just making a point at the back i'll follow the point then i'll take off my front pattern so i can indicate my back that so this is the front i'll make the note that this is my front pattern and this is the back um i'm just going to rule my starting line remember we have a starting line on the front and this is the starting line and now i'm just going to mark seven inches down on my back pattern i'll mark seven inches down now i'll connect that line that seven inches i'll connect it to the middle line that's the line where the nipples nipple sits and i'll just connect it to the dart leg so what i just did is transfer my dart please let me know if there's any confusion on this part so i can explain more to you but this is the back pattern for the skirt and you guys this is the pattern we're going to be using to recreate this dress the sewing version is going to be available to you guys soon please let me know in the comment section if you were able to make your pattern don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new i love you guys so much and i'll be seeing you on my next video there are no buys on this channel so i'll see you on the next video okay